Now in our eighth year of doing these useful websites videos, in this year's edition, I've got a new batch of websites to share with you all in various categories that you just might wish you knew about earlier, none of which have ever been featured in this series. Let's get started. PlugShare is great for those of you that own an electric vehicle to find charging stations worldwide, especially for those of you with range anxiety, which is one of the reasons I won't buy an EV yet. Let's zoom into New Orleans. When you hover your cursor, it lets you know the location, the rating for the EV station, how many chargers are available, along with the plug type or types. In addition to the web, PlugShare also has an app on the Google Play Store, along with an app available from the Apple App Store. Whether you use the app or the website, PlugShare is invaluable, especially when taking road trips. Now for a useful website I should have mentioned years ago. Clark.com is the website home of the former longtime syndicated radio show host and best-selling author, Clark Howard, whose mission is to serve you with knowledge that empowers you to make better financial decisions in your life. His team of writers cover various categories. Some of the more useful ones include cell phones, which have some great articles about the various phone plans, your credit, which covers how to do a credit freeze, find out what a good credit score is, and other stuff. The articles in their credit card section are very helpful. Their insurance category has articles covering auto, home, and life insurance that could be beneficial. And their invest and retire category could be useful to some of you planning for retirement. I do want to point out, just like our channel, Clark.com does not accept payola from sponsors to say nice things about their products or services. So the advice is unbiased. Clark Howard now hosts a popular half hour podcast Monday through Friday that I highly recommend for people to listen to. It's personally helped us out over the years in making better financial decisions in our life. Wikibooks is a new one I just learned about. It's from the same folks that make Wikipedia. On Wikibooks, you'll find a huge collection of open source online textbooks that can be edited by anyone. It's simple to use. For example, if you wanted to learn the Python programming language, just do a search at the top for Python programming. Select it. With most of the books, as you'll see here on the right, you can print them out and you can get an optimized PDF version for ebook readers. Envato Elements is an awesome site for creatives, especially for those of you creating videos and presentations. On here, you can get unlimited downloads of stock videos, royalty-free music, photos, graphics, and a whole lot more. A section on here many creators find to be helpful is their video templates category. It offers templates that can be edited for Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Apple's Final Cut Pro, and Apple Motion. While Envato Elements is not free, many do find it to be a good value, with plans starting at $16.50 per month which offers unlimited downloads of millions of creative assets. Real quickly, Mixkit is another site owned by Envato that might be worth your time to check out and bookmark if you're a creative on a budget making videos for YouTube or some other service. It offers similar categories as Envato Elements. The only difference on Mixkit is that all of the assets are completely free, all of which can be used in both commercial and non-commercial projects. I've mentioned more than a dozen sites to take online courses over the years. Class Central is different. It's more of an aggregator to help find the best free courses from more than a thousand of the world's top universities. Some of those universities include MIT, Stanford, University of Michigan, Duke University, and many others. In an earlier segment, I used Python as an example. On here, it found more than 7,000 Python courses and certifications. After selecting a course, you'll get additional information. This course is available from Harvard via edX. It's free to audit. If there's a cost to get a certificate, it will let you know here, along with the duration of the course. Here's an oldie but goodie. GOG.com, which stands for Good Old Games, is a great place to download classic and new games on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It's a subsidiary of CD Projekt, the makers of The Witcher series, and Cyberpunk. The main reason I've downloaded tons of games off of here is that all of their games are DRM free. While digital rights management in itself is not bad, the way some publishers implement it 
can be awful. A couple examples are requiring an online connection to play and limiting installs on more than one machine. While GOG.com is a great place to find classic games you won't find elsewhere, they also have awesome sales on newer titles as well, just like Steam, but without the DRM limitations. Now this one is insane. On the website, Abstract, that's been around since 2002, they refer to their site as the mother of news aggregators with news from popular sources all on one page. Some examples of what sources you'll find on here include Reddit, Google, and Yahoo News, Reuters, The New York Times, Dig, Vox, ABC News, News from CBS, and so many others, it would literally take me all day to tell you. The Hive Index is a directory of online communities organized by topic, platform, and community features. Some of the platforms represented on here include Reddit, Facebook, Discord, X formerly known as Twitter, and many others. After doing a search, for example, I just did a search for NFL, it now shows communities available on the various platforms. Antenna Web is a fantastic site for those of you wanting to save money by getting rid of cable, satellite, or any other cable-like streaming service. The site will show you all of the free over-the-air broadcast channels in your area. After entering your location, it will show you the number of channels that you can receive at your location. When you scroll down, it will show you the channels that you can get over the air. If you're looking for a news aggregator focused only on the breaking technology news, nothing tops the Tech Meme website. You'll find articles on here covering all of tech from the most popular and reliable sources. Tech Meme also has one of the more popular tech podcasts that I listen to Monday through Friday called the Tech Meme Ride Home. The host, Brian McCullough, does a great job of getting to the point without too much filler. Consensus is a cool search engine for those times you need a more concise answer than what you'd find on Google and the other search engines. Using AI, it analyzes more than 200 million academic papers to give you answers based on research. I'll now ask it a question. Does alcohol affect sleep? When it's done, you'll see a summary at the top and you'll see other answers below. Consensus is free with unlimited searches, but will limit access to GPT-4 summaries. For additional features, plans start at around $9 per month. Ultimate Booklist is a celebrity book recommendations website with a massive database. You'll find books from these well-known people that help to influence who they are today. On this site, there are book recommendations from celebrities and entrepreneurs like Taylor Swift, Mark Zuckerberg, Joe Rogan, Bill Gates, Mark Cuban, and many others. At the top of their homepage, you could do a search for a personality or a specific book to find out which personalities read that book. I'll do a search here for Elon Musk and select it. Below a brief biography, it will list categories with percentages of what that personality has read, followed by the books they have recommended in the past. Here's another website for creatives. Coolors is a color palette generator that could come in handy for creating a website, marketing material, or anything else where you need design help or inspiration with color combinations. When you start the generator, it will show you five colors. If you don't like those colors, hitting the space bar will show you a new set of five colors. To keep a color, click on the lock and it will lock it in. Then hitting the space bar after doing so will show you four colors that might go well with the one you have locked. And so on and so on. While most people will be fine just using coolers for free, they do offer a pro version for three bucks per month that is ad free with additional features. Does the dog die is somewhat of a morbid site that can be useful for those of you still traumatized by the ending of Old Yeller or other films and shows where the dog dies. The site also offers warnings about other topics as well. In this example, doing a search for the 1983 film Cujo, it lets us know that the dog did die. And below that, you can also get other interesting information. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. 
let us know in the comments the websites you visit that might be useful for others to know about. And if you're new to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest useful websites videos and other tech-related stuff.